Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan Dang and I'm a type 1 diabetic and today I'm going to be talking about coronavirus and how it affects type 1 diabetics. So if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave it down below like always and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for watching. As you guys might be able to tell, I'm not in my typical dorm room anymore because my school actually sent us home and everything's online now so I'm back home for the rest of the semester and for the summer because of this coronavirus. As you've probably heard in the news, this virus is very dangerous and it's been growing exponentially which sounds scary but something even scarier is if you have an autoimmune disorder like diabetes. Um, which can make you be affected much differently and much more severely. So I'm going to kind of discuss how it's affecting diabetics and what you can do to help yourself stay safe. So first, I'm just going to talk about how this coronavirus affects diabetics. So people of all ages can be affected by this coronavirus, but people who are older and people who have pre-existing medical conditions are more prone to getting it and getting affected by it more severely. So diabetics are much more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with this virus. The researchers in China um, who dealt with the outbreak published a paper that suggested that people with diabetes are at risk of having more severe outcomes of the virus. They actually saw more hospitalization, ICU care, and mortality of patients with type 1 diabetes. Now I'll be discussing why diabetics are at more of a risk. So people with diabetes are more susceptible to infections. They also tend to have more severe outcomes of other viral infections. So the coronavirus is no different. So there's a negative impact to the immune system of people who have type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And they also might not be able to respond as well to the disease or virus as people who don't have diabetes. So because our immune system isn't as good and because we're more susceptible to other diseases, um, this disease or virus is no different. So we'll still just be more likely to get it or if we do get it, more likely to deal with more severe outcomes of it. Last thing I'll be discussing is what precautions diabetics should be taking. So we should all, everybody, but diabetics especially, should all be following the orders that are being put in place, which is to minimize contact with others and practice social distancing. This includes trying to stay home and avoid public places with lots of people. So people with diabetes need to be strict about social distancing and isolation in order to keep themselves safe. Finally, I'm just going to kind of talk about my feelings about this. So this virus is is really frustrating I know for everybody because it's kind of throwing up our lives into shambles I'm betting and a lot of people are getting sick and dying from it which is really really serious um, but something that frustrates me is that we already deal with this disease and it's kind of annoying that now we're put at even a higher risk because of it so yeah that's pretty much it I'm just kind of frustrated with this virus like everybody else, but I think it's even more frustrating being a diabetic and hearing about how you are more at risk, but we just need to do whatever we can do to keep ourselves safe and our community safe. So I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. And if you have any suggestions for other diabetics, please make sure to leave it down below. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave it down below too. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.